Kenya has banned the importation of used minibus, minibus and trucks weighing more than 3.5 tons effective from July this year. Local vehicle assemblers have welcomed the ban, noting they anticipate a 15% increase in sales over the short term. Local assemblers say they have the capacity to make 30,000 trucks annually to fill the deficit that might be left after the ban in importation of used passenger buses and cargo trucks. Kenya imports about 12,000 used vehicles monthly from Japan, United Arab Emirates, United Kingdom, Singapore and South Africa. Uh, the local assembly capacity already exists to produce about 30,000 trucks. Uh, per annum. These are the three plants that we have in Kenya, AVA in Mombasa, Isuzu East Africa, and KVM in Thika. The Kenya Bureau of Standard has issued a notice banning importation of used passenger minibus, midibus, large bus, single articulated bus, bi articulated bus, and double decker buses into the country from July 1st this year. However, used passenger matatus will continue being imported into the country provided they are not older than eight years. Local vehicle assemblers are urging financial institutions to tailor products for transport investors to acquire brand new vehicles. Normally the purchase price of a vehicle is one, one component, but the critical cost of running a vehicle is through the maintenance program. So a new vehicle, of course, has got longer life and less maintenance in the formative years of the vehicle. So you can run the vehicle if you do regular services for a period of five years before you can really have uh, a major overhaul. It is estimated the ban will increase local vehicle assemblers' revenue by 15%. So what does that mean? Our approximation is that about additional 65,000 new jobs will be created as a result of this change and and this workforce will work of course in the assembly plants but as well as in a local content development the government has been pushing to reduce age of used vehicles being imported into kenya to support the local manufacturing sector and grow jobs through purchase of locally assembled vehicles benson Ryuba reporting